Hey guys, good evening and welcome back to the channel with the Mandela Effect and the like. Thank you for joining in. Welcome all Mandela Effectians. So, uh, we're joined with uh, Teresa Lynch, my residue hunter, and Sandy Diva as well. She's here with us. So, uh, we want to welcome everyone to our great show. Hi, how's everyone hey. tonight? Hey, how guys. you doing, Sandy? Hey, everyone. I'm good. Hope you all had a good week. We're uh, just curious about these new effects. Because there's a lot of them going on here lately. Ooh. They keep stacking up, right, guys? Oh, yeah. Too many. <laughs> Too many, Sandy, right? We've been, her and I both been residue hunting like crazy, trying to get all the um, residue together and all the new effects. And we're going to hit you guys hard. Just going to give you a warning. <laughs> right, Sandy? Yeah, fair warning. Yeah, we've been carrying <laughs> these over for weeks because we didn't get to them on the live shows. So hopefully, hopefully we get through them today. All right, so let's let's talk about the first thing that you had on the list, uh, Sandy. What is the first thing? Is it Eddie Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit. I think Rich Vasanic found that one, correct, Teresa? I think so. Yes. Um, apparently, there's two T's in his name now, and there used to only be one. And we have a lot of residue. Okay. Tons. All right, let me go ahead and um, show you guys what it looks like now, and then we'll show you the residue. Okay, how about that? That sounds yep. like a plan. I think we should do it that way for all of them, yes. <laughs> Eddie Rabbit, his name has two B's and two T's. E-D-D-I-E-R-A-B-B-I-T-T. -E -E -T -T. And uh, born November 27, 1941, died May 7, 1998. Wow. He's a famous musician. And what, was he, what songs was he famous for? You know? The one that I know the best is I Love a Rainy Nights. I Love a Rainy Nights. That one. <laughs> Pure Love and Kentucky Rain. Nice. Okay. So, love is music. so there's some residue here that uh, Teresa and Sandy found for Eddie Rabbit just with one T. Yep. And it's compelling. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, yep. I see Alan Silvestri uh, down there. That's curious. That's uh, Back to the Future. That is curious. And, hang on. And I'm looking at the car, and I don't see that camera on the top. No. That Where are you seeing thing. that? In that in that first the picture at the very bottom there on your photo album of Eddie Rabbit. Here really? now, this one. This is weird because. The T-shirt changed, and it says Eddie Rabbit with two T's on the T-shirt. But here in the Etsy, it only has it with one T. Yeah. Wow. Crazy, right? And another one. It happens one. too much. It happens too much. We're seeing this all the time now, and it's crazy. Two T's, one T down here. They're remembering what we remember. Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you do that to – if you're going to list a product – Think about a, a, a company. Do you remember years ago? Um, for, I mean, even today, companies can get sued for false advertising. If you're not getting the product that they're advertising for Eddie Rabbit with, with one T, then you could technically sue them. Oh, yeah. Eddie Rabbit with one T. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's plenty of proof Rabbit, one out T. there. On the stamp, mind you, it's that one was from another country, but it, you know it's still residue. Uh, Electra, Eddie Rabbit, Lo I love a rainy night. This, it makes me want to listen to the music right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Rabbit, one T. Whoops. Play a snippet of it, Brian. <laughs> if, I'll try. I okay. love a rainy night, and, and we got rain. Favorite song. I love that song. Uh, some people get in snow. Um, I will tonight. I love a rainy night over snow any day, right? <laughs> uh, Eddie Rabbit, 1T. <laughs> That's some great residue, you guys. Thank you. And we want to. We also want to do a shout-out. Teresa want to do a shout-out out there for... Um, um, who was it that just joined up in your group? Uh, need input? Or N, how does he say it? N -E, You're right. How does he say need his input. name? Need input. Need input. Need input. Need if input. you haven't checked out his videos, Need he's got um, his own video YouTube channels. Um, Brian? Eddie Rabbit. 
Yeah, he's, he's great. I'm very excited that he's in my group now, Reality Residue Hunter, three explanation marks. So this is a huge contribution for the group. And again, if you're listening, thank you so much for joining the group. And anyone else who's interested in joining the group, if you haven't by now, Reality Residue Hunter with three explanation marks, and you're more than welcome to join and um, post, post your new residue, old residue, new effects, old effects. Right, Sandy? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely we, we'll invite you right in. We love new members. on the air. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're on the air. And, and I'm wondering about, uh, like, too, um, only hers is with one T. It, it just made me think of that from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Mm -hmm. I was. That's funny that you said that. I was thinking of that, too, while re looking for this residue. <laughs> I really was. I really was. Eddie Rabbit, two Ts. Uh, there's two T's here. That's weird. Did you? Okay, so that one says rabbit one T, but two T's down there. That's strange. I cannot yeah. see the images. One T. Oh, whoa. Reload the page. All snap. Yeah, it said all snap. Reloading the page. Can I guys? I, I know we're live, guys, but I got to ask a really bizarre question. <laughs> Okay. The rabbit one T. All of a sudden, now that I'm where the stronger internet is, I can literally see what he's presenting. I could never do that before. Oh, that's great. I'm literally watching as he presents it, and I think it had to do with the internet. Sorry, I just had to throw that in. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you sound a lot better from uh, from what I could tell. But I'm actually um, seeing you're what not, you're presenting. I know you're not <laughs> sounding robotic. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, wearing the internet 100%. <laughs> so, sorry, go ahead. My bad. So that's that's a lot of residue for uh, Eddie Rabbit. Let's move on to the next one, guys. So what mm -hmm. is the next hard-hitting effect or residue that you guys have? So that would be, I don't know if everyone's going to be affected by this, but I definitely am. Teresa definitely is. Calvin and Hobbes. I remember it spelled without an A, just H-O-B-B-S. But it's H O B B E S now, and I found residue as usual. Yeah, there's stunning residue. Um, now, who found this effect? Do we know? I did. Not, well, I mean, this one's been around for a little bit. I've, I've seen other people yes. talk about it. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, okay. it has an E now. A lot of people I, didn't used to have an E. See, this person here yeah. remembers it without the E. Huh. Why would why would they post something if it was, you know, why would they do that? Why would they post it wrong? I, d I don't know. I didn't know that this was already talked about. I've never heard I mean, of it before. This is new to us, Brian. Yeah, it was new to me when I saw it. I, I just saw it and said, wow, that's wrong. And yeah. I <laughs> didn't see any videos on it or anything. Yeah, look at the E right here. You guys see that? And then you know, at the top here, it says Calvin and Hobbes Passion without That's the E. That's crazy. No E right there. Calvin and Hobbes. And it's on clip there's, even clip, there's even clip art. Wow. Anyone else out there, I mean, can vouch for this that, that knows this comic? I guess it's about what it's a boy and his tiger or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Hobbs is a tiger. And apparently they're great together. You I don't remember the E, Brian. They're great. <laughs> I was making a reference to uh, Tony the Tiger. Hobbs <laughs> <laughs> and Hobbs. There's the E that's there now. I don't remember the E. No. Looks like we might be back to the main one. Yeah. Uh, so plenty of residue, you guys. Um, it's a very famous comic. Been around for a while. How many How many years, Brian? Do you have I mean, an, an idea when it first came out? Probably in the 80s, I want to say, but I can look it up. Calvin I'm just curious. Calvin yeah, I think and it was the 80s. I, really, I think it was the 80s, too, Brian. I think you're right. Bill Waters. Like, really? Yeah. Okay. So the next one has a double change. Yeah. 
the Calvin and Hobbes. The uh, launch date was November 18, 1985, and it ran till December 31st, 1995. So just just to clarify that for you guys. Okay, so what's the next one we have, Sandy? So um, Paula Abdul, her song "Opposites Attract." I'm gonna I'm gonna stop um, doing what I'm doing and go to Hangout so I can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see you present. <laughs> Um, if you don't get me started to... singing that song straight up now. Tell me. <laughs> well, do me a favor. There's, there's one of the images is the Google, like the Google result. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the, the Google official lyrics. Can you pull yeah. that up, please? Yeah. Um. Okay. Because there, there's two changes that I need to show you. I sh actually did it. I zoomed in on one. T zoomed in on it as well. So if you want to show the full version first and then go to the zoomed okay. in version. That's fine. So what, let's talk about, so So the name of the song is what? Opposites Attract. Opposites Attract. And what is the effect? Or what? what's the, what, why don't we ask the audience out there what they remember? Yeah, we're going to do a little pause because we're going to be premiering this. What do you guys, well, they don't know what they're answering for what they remember. I, I know. Gotta tell you what's changed in the song first. <laughs> I know. It, please, guys, comment below on what you remember on this song. So, so tell us the lyric up to the point, Sandy. If you well, don't. can you zoom in because I can't see that. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so it says right there. Um, I take no. That's not. The, that's not the original one, Brian. That's the residue. I need you to find the original. Um, All right, that's the zoom in right there. That's fine. Okay. That's the zoom in of the official lyrics that Google provides. Okay. I remember I take things uh, serious. I take things serious. And now it's, I, wait, are you telling me it's I take thing serious? Yeah, that, that's they're saying the official lyric is. No freaking way. <laughs> He's doing the WTF moment. <laughs> yeah. And then further down. I want to hear cause, her saying that. <laughs> cause I move slowly. They have it as cause. Cause I move slowly. Can we listen to that part? Well, wait. Before you do, I have residue, oh. which he had up a second ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is it right here. I if take you zoom things. in, I take things and cause, C-A-U-S-E, like I remember. Yeah, See, exactly. Because what I used to do as a kid when I'd have the, 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 the cassettes or, yeah, because I'm old the cassettes or the CDs, I'd read the lyrics with the song so I'd learn the words. Oh. Like, it's what I do. And I know it wasn't C-U-Z. It was cause. Yeah, it was cause. So now, Google's wrong. Okay, the name of the song Google's is Opposite Tracks. You know about what... You know about what um, time marker? It's in the beginning. I really don't... I don't. I. I. I honestly yeah. don't know the time, but it's it's the second verse. So. Okay, is it right about there? Or should yeah, that's I, should the I first verse. That's the first verse that started. Okay, should I let it play or go a little further? Oh wait, I, wait, wait, wait. We never agree. I like the movies and I like TV. I like TV. You take it serious. It, and I is, do I go it. further? How, how much further? should be further? right about there. Let's try that. That one? That part? Wait, let me say. I, I, see, I have to see the residue. I haven't heard the song in years. Yeah, I take things serious. Yeah. Yeah. He says things? Mm -hmm. No, he says, I, I take things. Yeah, you might want to slow that down. Yeah, it kind of sounded like I take them serious. I don't know. Let me slow that down a little bit. I don't know what she's talking about. It's a part of a song. Hang on. I take oh, things no. serious. I heard thing, yeah. Unfreaking believable. And what about the cuz part? Does it sound like cuz or does it sound like cause? I don't know. That one's going to be kind of hard to, to, to see, but it, yeah, it does seem off. Yeah, and the official lyric, like I said, is definitely changed. It was not. My, all right. Okay. One of, my, one of my best friends in high school, okay? 
um, his girlfriend in high school. We used to joke around. I, I, it was just the way we talked with each other. We were friends. We called each other. I called her cousin Melissa. She called me cousin Sandy. And they're married now. And we still call it, we call each other cuz, C U Z. That's how we address each other. It did not sound like cuz when I, in the song to me. And it definitely wasn't in the lyrics. Okay. But we can, we can definitely say for sure, in my opinion, we can, we can probably say that this is a Mandela effect where it says, I take things serious. That's, that seems really off. Um, I don't know why they would change that one part, but you know, we'll go with it. So anyway, so what's next? What do we have next? What's next guys? Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing the other thing. Uh, the break even oh, by the fine. script. Okay. Break even by the script. What do you guys, what, what's the part that changed? Okay. So, um, Here's the thing. Throughout the entire song, I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is a change for other people. And if you guys want to, if the audience wants to comment what they remember. But for me, it was um, always, what am I supposed to do? There was no gonna. Now there's a verse where it's, what am I gonna do? It was always supposed to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like throughout the whole song. And if you look, there's an image with a guitar on it. It's a piece of artwork. And right, they only have the supposed to lyric. They have all the separate lyrics and then the chorus, which is what am I supposed to do? They don't have the one with go on it, just supposed. I think that's a change that one of the one of the verses has gone and like maybe in this reality they thought you know what we're being repetitive ah, so is try it, something different so is it what am i gonna do or what am i supposed to do? which which part what is it's it both now that's the thing like the first the first one says supposed then the second one says gonna then it goes back to supposed it was all supposed for me it never said what am i gonna do yeah what am i what am i here we go. Right now that sentence should be throughout the whole, all the choruses, but the middle chorus it says, "What am I gonna do now?" And it was never gonna for me. It was always supposed to do. Right. That that sounds correct. So, and there's residue for it, you know, and obviously. Um, and they said just now I heard supposed. What are we supposed to Well, that's do? because there's two verses where it says, what am I supposed to do? But if you keep going, the middle verse says gonna. No, that's no, that's all. Yeah, actually it's here. Let me, let me pull up, pull up the image so I can read it to you. I'm Cause I can't see when you're presenting it. So let me just pull it up. Okay. So it's, let's see one second. Okay, so it starts off with, what am I supposed to do? They say bad things happen for a reason, but no wise. Then it says, what am I going to do when the best part of me was always you? It does the second part of the verse with what, or the end. It's the end. The last chorus, they change to, what am I going to do? Okay. And then it says, it says, what am I going to do when the best part of me was always you? And what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? No, it was always, what am I supposed to do? There was no gone for me. Not at all. It's all supposed. Okay. So, again, the audience, if you would, please comment below. Thanks, Sandy, for sharing that one. And there's residue here for it, like you can see um, clearly. Um, let's see. So, what am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? And what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? I'm falling to pieces. Yeah, I'm falling to pieces. Yeah, and I'm looking at the official lyrics. Uh, let's see, where is that? Um, what am I going to do? Yeah, yeah, right here. Um, what am I going to do when the best part of me was always you? And what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? And it's the end part where they say, I'm falling to pieces. Yeah, I'm falling to pieces. Yeah, I'm falling to pieces. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was agreeing. I wasn't doing the lyric. I just realized that was perfect timing for the yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just sounded weird. <laughs> There's one that heartbreaks, no, it don't break even. Yeah, it's going to make me start singing that now. I know, it's a good tune. I me, mean, it was always you. Nice. I never actually like studied the lyrics to this song, but it, I mean, it always it sounded really cool to me. I loved it, you know. I love the song. Mm -hmm. um, there's supposed and supposed. I mean, maybe. Oh, you're breaking up. Sounds like a maybe. robot. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, what I what I was saying was, oh my god, the song break maybe oh, multiple sorry. versions. Guys, you know, I gotta mute myself a minute. I'm sorry, you keep going. I'm getting a phone call, and I don't want to. Um, I yeah, I'm muting myself a minute. All right, okay. the next one is Wendy's and Miami logo. You want to talk about the Wendy's? Yeah, Wendy's, does residue with Wendy's? Yeah, or, I can um, talk about that one. Um, so about Wendy's a week ago, great. Brian. Brian? I'm here. So about a week ago, um, I was watching The Office, you know, the, the show The Office. Are you there? I'm listening. I'm okay. listening. And they were having, it's an older, of course, it's an older episode because they're all repeats. I don't even know if The Office is technically on no more, it just repeats. And they were having a Halloween party, and one of the girls that works there was dressed in a Wendy's costume. And if you look at the residue, you will notice the braids. Guys, can you hear me and, okay? Yeah, we're talking about Wendy's and the braids. Um, okay. Yeah. I was also, freaking out about that one. You also, want to continue what I was saying? Well, no, I just want to say also in this folder of images is from the same episode is we wanted to point out the Miami logo. But, Teresa, you go on about the Wendy's. Well, that's pretty much it is that yeah. if you look at Wendy's now, um, Wendy's basically her hair. I don't know if you want to show a picture. It's just like ponytails and it's just hair sticking out of like just sticking out. And a lot of us remember the braids, including me. And there's so much residue out there for Wendy's braids. It's ridiculous. I mean, Brian can even bring them up. There's costumes. Um, there's people who imitate them, you know, yeah. on different shows. I mean, but to me, this got my attention. I mean, even the office remembered um, dressing this girl up for this show, particular episode of Halloween with the braids. So they are even affected. So. Here's what's crazy too. Even the anime version of Wendy's has braids. But really, the, yeah. But in the picture, she does not. She doesn't have any braids. Yes, exactly. And I thought that was awesome residue, right, Sandy? I, I was like, oh my god, the braids. That's one of the best residues for it I've seen. Like it's clearly braids, and she's clearly being Wendy. I was real excited when I seen that. It's, it's a, Brian, you're breaking it's up. A, <laughs> Usually it's Teresa. This is weird. It's Brian. You're pulling a Teresa. <laughs> is it me? Well, I would be sounding like that if I was up in my apartment, but I'm not. So I'm sitting where there's full internet. <laughs> yeah, do you see that? Do you have a side view of it, um, Sandy? You could show them. Um, I have, I put, I did put a slightly side view in there. Do you see, I think there should be like a side view where you can actually see the actual braids. Brian, can you present that, please? Next one, we've got to move along. Okay. Um, the next one is Electra versus Ele Electra. Rec and without, yeah. uh, let's see, Electra. Yeah, Electra. Can you guys hear okay, me? So, yeah, yeah, you're a little, you're a little robot -y. Robot. <laughs> That's all. Um, I don't know. Yeah, what... So I, I have a vague memory of Electra with a C, and I could be wrong on this one, but I did find residue, so I thought I'd bring this up. Yeah, I don't see. 
Brian, I can't hear you. Um. Um. Let's look at Electra. How is Electra now? It's E L E K T R A, and I yep. remember it E L E C K T R A. Let's have a look at that. And that is a record album, correct, yeah. Sandy? Yeah. Been around a long time, pretty much. Yeah, they've been around a Good. while. Cool. And there's there's residue out there, and I think I see you some too, Sandy, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, he's got residue there. That's what I said. There is residue. Yeah. And and that's the thing about residue, Sandy, and you you will agree with me is. If it never existed, then why would there be residue, right? Exactly. Exactly. So that means someone else remembers it as well. That's a few someone's you know? at least. There's a there's a lot I'm, there. I'm looking. Okay, Electra, here it is. There you go. Thank you. See how it's spelled now? Okay, there's <laughs> different like residues you can see. Metallica, Metallica, Electra Records. Um, Electra with a C, all these with C's. Yep. Kiwi's Dance, Electra. So is, is it, are you talking about Electra Records in, yeah. in comparison with Electra, the, the character? No, Electra, Electra Records, Records in comparison with Electra Records. Electra oh, okay. Records now is E-L-E-K. There's no C. Oh, no. I see. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, because I just looked up Electra the character. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Put Electra Records and that, you'll see that it's... I had that all wrong. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks way off. Yeah. Yeah, even yeah, the wording of the logo looks off to me. No, no. It would, no, it would have had a C. That's messed up. Exactly. It had the C. Electra Records with the C. My ex-husband used to be a huge record collector, and my, I myself used yeah, to collect sure. record back in the 80s when I was married, and I remember that, all, having to see in it. So I can I can um, agree with you guys 100% on this one. Loved my the albums car. and records. It's in the bottom. Electra. There you go. Yeah. Well, this, this Electra has, a, has no C, but the one up top does. Oh no! Up top is me. That means it changed. That changed. Oh, the the, the residue changed. The residue changed on that one. The what? top is no, me. Right, that's me writing it at the top. You see, it was. You telling me the residue here at the bottom? Yes, it was down there, and now it's changed. Now it's no now way. It's, yeah, that, wow, was, that was CK. That was CK. Oh my goodness. Okay, and this is CK here. Um, that's cool. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, the stuff at the same time when that happens is what I was searching. I, wow. See, I don't think we were supposed to find these things. We probably weren't supposed to find these changes, but they just keep popping up everywhere. I mean, there's a lot. It's not like I'm finding one thing, you know? It's like over and over. I, and I stop. Like, the stuff you have isn't even half of it. I just stop. I'm like, that's enough. We have enough. Like, I'm tell, uh, constantly telling yeah. Teresa. We have enough. Or Teresa will say, do you think we have enough? I'm like, yeah, we have plenty, you know? <laughs> so much. <laughs> I want to point out here, I'm noticing, I'm noticing that the uh, A in Metallica in the middle is sort of slanted toward the 1 o'clock position. Yeah. Okay, Electra without the C. This one must have changed. Oh, my God, I hate that. This re Wait, you the had, this was residue you had? Yeah, this is, I, I don't save things that aren't residue, yeah. Okay, so this one had a C and now it doesn't. Oh my god. Unless it's on the record. Scroll look at the record itself. No, I can't see it's too blurry. It's too blurry. Oh my god. This is another it changed. one. Uh Electra with a C. That's that didn't change. And that's Amazon. Oh my god, you see the MCA records? Oh, that's, the A that's has that weird that's triangle. That's why that's there. Yeah. That wasn't supposed to go with it. It was just like right after it. Yeah, yeah but um, MCA, hey, look at the E, Ryan. Look at the E. I know the E is weird, but yeah, MCA was it always like that? I, I don't remember it like that. 
<laughs> I don't. That's why I pointed it out. I'm going to cry. Let's, let's, turn to our, let's turn to our best friend real quick. Um, Logopedia. No, it's been like that since 1972. Yeah, no way. BS. No, BS on that one. Nope. 1972. The C and the A is merged. C and the A is merged, and the A is missing the crossbar, and the E is missing the, the vertical. No way. All right. All right. Well, you've convinced me that MCA Records is an Emmy and uh, Electra. Wait, <laughs> did this one change too? Because this one is missing no, the C. No, no, no. That was just to show you what it looks like now. Okay, I see. Electra with the C. Yeah. The, uh, that's, I don't know if that's that way. That one might be a band. I'm not sure. All right. So, but I put it in there just in next, case. That's fine, Sandy. What's next, guys? Okay, so next will be... Four-seater residue. Yeah, it's just one image. Teresa, it's got a folder in there. Teresa found a uh, new residue of... Uh, it's a piece of artwork of, of a four-seater residue of um, JFK. And you can zoom in on it, right, and you can see that there would be nowhere for an extra two people to sit. And if you look at it... You literally can pretty much speak for itself. And I found that. I was really excited. I'm just doing a search. Exactly. And it came across. Great residue yeah. there, yeah. It, it looks like there's only room for four people. Right. Yep. In the candy car. Yep, that's what that is. I was excited. Right. I was like, yeah. And and next, that's fantastic. You, have to, you have to go to your list, Brian, because there's a link. It's... Uh, it's at six seconds, six the timestamp. Teresa found residue of Sex in the City. Yeah. Okay, six seconds, time spent. Hopefully it didn't change. <laughs> and I'm getting you a link. Yeah. There's a link missing from the um, from the uh, list. You want to play it so they can hear it? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. This is the first episode of this legendary series... For six years, the actresses of Sex and the City got laid. Okay, and what is the what does it say? Sex. Sex in and the city. city. Play it again. I have to slow it down. Hold on. Okay. Hundred percent residue. Out of this legendary series, for six years. The actresses of Sex in the City taught ladies. Oh. It does sound like Sex in the City. Yep. I mean, it was Sex in the City. Not sex That's what the I city. heard. Is that, is, do you agree, guys? That's what you hear? Yeah. Because it's not Sex and the yeah. City. You can clearly hear, okay, clearly next, hear her say N. No, I heard N. I heard N. So okay, new good. new publishers clearinghouse residue we got um, secrets to winning free stuff. <laughs> so you want to talk about this one, Teresa? The publishers clearinghouse. Which one was that That's one? Yours, Teresa. <laughs> it's the oh. publishers clearinghouse residue that you found. Okay, which one is it? Because I find so much residue. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Well, I was talking about, you can talk uh, about it, Brian. Go ahead. You talk about it. Gone are the days of clipping labels, returning publishers, clearing houses, letters, and waiting for Ed McMahon, Ed McMahon to appear at your door. Um, thanks, to, thanks to the internet, sweepstakes are faster, better, and exponentially more addictive. It's basically that Ed McMahon appears at your door with publishers' clearing house. Okay. Yep. I completely forgot I found that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I find so much residue. I can't keep track. Thank you guys for presenting that. No problem. There's That's another one. one. There's another link after that. CBS News. And what's oh. in this one? For Ed McMahon, oh. that Teresa found. Oh, okay. How much? Where's the minute mark on this one? She didn't tell me. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh -oh. Mary Tyler Moore. Talking about yes. Yes. Third house. Is that right? Yeah. Tracy, you have any idea where in the video it was? It's actually in the article. Oh, okay. Oh, in the article, okay. Yeah. About halfway down. 
towards the okay, bottom. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, halfway. It's towards the bottom of the article. You scroll down. I'm not seeing it in the article. I thought she said it. Brian, that's it's, the article's over. It's she said it. It wasn't in the article. Oh. Oh wait, publishers clearing out sweepstakes, as well as being the face of publishers clearing out sweepstakes. It says it right yeah. there. The man, the, the known man known for hosting the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and Star Search, as well as being the face of publisher clearinghouse sweepstakes, okay. died in Los Angeles, according to a report citing McMahon's spokesman. Yep. He made such an impact on television. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. I was Good excited residue. to find that one. Great, there's, great job on that one. So much residue out there, Fred McMahon, being published at Clearinghouse. You'd be shocked. I mean, there's so much of it. All right, so we got quick on these, okay? Well, these, we are, these are quick. The next one is one image. And you being a YouTuber, Brian, I need you to tell me, has this been the fair use logo since 2004, like Logopedia says? Look for, lo look the, for uh, the fair use folder. Because I uh, do not remember this logo. I don't remember this either. That's crazy, right? Fair use with the F now. It looks like F-U to me. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, isn't it? All right. So I'm not crazy. So that, that that's not the that's not the logo you remember. I don't remember that logo like that. All right, what's next? All right, the next That's one, a good one is a personal ME of myself. Uh, you're looking up uh, Joey's work in the uh, in the albums. Um, so yeah. my, my Joey works at a place called Spread. And I see this logo every day. It's huge on the building. The RE is merged. So there's images of the building, of the sign, and then there's a close-up. It's just a merging logo. <laughs> I'm looking for it. Um, where is it? It should be under Joey's work or spread. One or the other, but it should be under Joey's work. You, I would just search three slash three. It'll come up that way. Everything is under three. Yeah, these are all in the albums. Yeah. Uh, let me try. Um. Hold on. Let's do that one. Two can't. Uh, okay. Um, go apart. You want, I can just send it to you if you can't find it. I did upload it. Okay. You keep looking while I send it to you. All right. Okay. So one at a time this way. All right. I mean, in the meantime, you can go to the next one because it's just you googling. Um. Erg. So, logo is that right? Spread logo. Yeah, the spread logo. You found it. What? What? What kind of spread? Oh, he works at a bagel shop. It's spread bagelry. That's just, that's just the name of the place. Spread. Oh. So, Did you find something it? Something happened with the logo change. I'm trying to find it. Oh, you haven't found it yet? Uh, well, I, I... Oh. Okay, I think I found the logo. Is this... That's well, the, the reason, the there's more images there because I also want to point something out in the menu that changed. So there's the um, original logo, and as you can see, the R and the E were definitely separate. You see it? Uh huh. And then, the R is um, broken too. Yeah. But if you go to the next logos, oh, you went to the website. You're not yeah, going to find what I'm looking for. You're not going to find what I'm looking for, what I have on the website. All right, hold on. The images I need to show you aren't on on the on the web. Uh, oh, there you go. But that's yeah. not what. 
What? Yeah, yeah that's merged that's there, all. yeah. But there's something the I can show you now. on an image. So you're telling me outside the store that's what it looks like oh, now? Oh, right there. The Go up to the menu, Brian. See the menu one? Click the menu. Above that. The menu. Click that. Zoom in. Look at the P. The Look at what am I looking at? Look at the letter P in spread. It's reaching for the R. Yeah, it is. That's weird. And the R and E is merged. And the R and E is merged on the board. Yeah. I've never heard of this bakery. There's only three locations in Philly, so you wouldn't have. That's why I said it's a personal All right. one. That's fine. All right, That's so a keep good one. Google open because the next one you're just looking up. Okay. The next one is Snow Tornadoes, and that was found by Curiouser and Curiouser. Or that's where we heard it from. If someone else found it, I'm sorry. We just know it from Curiouser and Curiouser. Snow Tornadoes. Those are weird looking guys. You know, we have we have we have Thunder Snow too, you know. Yeah, yeah I've actually I've experienced snow. it. It's weird. Holy crap, a snow tornado. What? <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen them before. Like, I, I used to watch, like, Tornado Chasers, <laughs> stuff like that. I've never seen anything like this. I always thought it had to be warm to have a tornado. <laughs> I mean, am I alone in that? That, that, for you. that it had to be warm for, for the conditions to be right for a tornado? Yeah, it normally has to be warm. Maybe it's global warming causing all this. I mean, I know fire well, we, tornadoes are when a tornado yeah, fire goes to fire. Too. Yeah, that, but that fire makes sense. Fire tornadoes But that makes yeah, sense. That it's a normal tornado that just travels over fire and picks the fire up. So that I understand. But a snow tornado forming in cold weather is weird to me. Okay, so the next one is... I don't have any residue for this, Teresa. Okay, what's the next one? The Which one? Gap or Gap? Yeah, I, I need Brian to bring up the story about that. There, It's really weird. Uh, Brian, bring up history for the Gap. They're saying that it was called the Gap years and years and years ago. But now it's the Gap. Now it's Gap. And I remember recently it's always being called the Gap. I don't know if you're able to bring that up. I, I couldn't get it down yeah. um, the internet before, but look up history of the gap or logopedia too yeah because i want to know if this is a recent change or does it go because how, how far back do you guys remember it being called the gap i never remember it being called gap unless that's a recent change so this is a, let me say this is a possible to me how's that or it, it could be a recent change for you where it's a mandela yeah. in the sense that yeah it changed a long Sandy time ago but for you it was recently you remember the gap or just, or just gap? I remember both, I, but I do remember the gap. I remember the gap. It's always been referred to like on different television shows. They always say the gap. Even on Friends and other different shows, you know, popular shows, they've always said the gap. I've never once heard them say gap. Yeah. Yeah, I've never <laughs> once heard them say Never heard I gap. Mean, I don't know. We're going to have to hurry up, guys. When did it change? Yeah, okay. When did it say it changed? I have a six about 30, 40 minutes, so we're going to have to keep going. Okay, That's a great okay. one. What's the next one? All right, the next one is Tanya Sargent DeCant found a change in MacArthur Park and then in parentheses Suite. The song by, uh, it's not by Donna, it's actually by the Four Tops. And she saw the change in Donna Summer's version, but it also changed in the Four Tops version. Yes. Oh, wow. No, I was saying MacArthur's the, part. And, yeah, there's a lot of residue. Oh, it, it, it's a song name. MacArthur Park. MacArthur Park didn't change. The song is correct. It's the words in the song. It changed from MacArthur Park to MacArthur's Park. Can he play a clip of it so you can hear them sing MacArthur's? Well, the, I, I have the one link which I have to send to him where they of residue where they sing MacArthur part. Right. But um, right. Ryan, you want to show the residue while I get you that link? 
Yeah, Thank I'll you, Sam. It's fine. There's a lot of residue there. It's going to take me okay. a couple of minutes because I sent it to Teresa last night and she sent me a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Gosh. We were trying to get ready for the show. And it did help, Teresa, because I got everything into the in the flicker Thank you. as quickly as I possibly could. So thank you. It, it paid off us getting it last night. You know it what I mean? Did. Saved it us really a did. lot of time. Yeah, because we uh, the residue is scattered because we've been sick. Like some of this has been carried over for weeks. Yeah. But good teamwork, right? Yeah. Did you know what teamwork yeah. actually means? Okay. Together, everyone accomplishes more. Team. Yep. Mm hmm. I learned that. <laughs> yep, yeah, MacArthur Park residue, and now it's MacArthur's. Yep, when you play it, you'll hear MacArthur them say MacArthur's. Park. All right, that's a good one. Good. That's a, I don't know, I don't know this one for sure, guys, but for anyone who knows this song, um, please post in the comments if you remember MacArthur versus MacArthur or MacArthur. Um, it seems like MacArthur would be correct, not MacArthur's, because nobody refers to the park like, it's theirs because it's for the Correct. Public. Correct. Correct. Um, Teresa, the link is gone. What? The link I sent you last night with the song, and we were all excited, is gone. What? It's gone. It's not in our messages. Are you serious? Yeah, it goes right from Calvin and Hobbes to MacArthur Park and then to. Um, uh, was was this in the messaging? The messaging? Yeah. Let me look. How in the heck? It disappeared to the, to another effect that we did. I can get the I can get the link for Brian from. Um, what time did you send it to me around? Let me see if I can go back. Do you know around what time it was? Well, Brian doesn't have time for us to do this. But Brian, if you look on, I, I'm gonna have him look. Yeah, on I'm, I'm, I'm running. I'm, I'm I'm running short on time. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Brian so, look on YouTube. Yeah. Hold on one second. But, I'm gonna tell you what what video it is, Brian. Okay. And, from MacArthur because we're kind of have to move along. Okay. Yeah. I hate. I'm. I'm not being rude. I have. I have things to do. Uh, okay. We have to move on. Let's go. Let's so what's go to the, the next, next one? one. Okay, but it, I. I can tell you what to look up, Brian, so you can hear it, and tell you the the okay. marker. It's Ellen. If you, if you go to YouTube, it's Elaine Page with an E. Page with an E at the end, like the P A I G E. Elaine Page, MacArthur Park. Famous singer. And, her, and she says it right. She, she says it clear as day, MacArthur Park. She sings it. Wow. Great find, Sandy. She said. What was the minute mark? I'm getting it for you. One second. Fifty. It's forty nine or fifty. Fifty? Forty try forty eight. You're not gonna get it. There you go. MacArthur, MacArthur Park. Park. Clear there you go. Great Perfect. find, Sandy. Great Thank find, you. Sandy. All right, awesome. what's next? So the next one, I just texted you a link. Um, Blair Walnuts. Um, there's this whole Shane Dawson thing where Shane Dawson says the Chuck E. Cheese pizzas are recycled. It's a theory of his, a conspiracy theory. And um, she tried to get a job there. And the manager calls her up and says pretty much they don't have any jobs. But the manager um, says... The manager who works for Chuck E. Cheese says Chuck E. Cheese. And says right. Chuck E. Cheese's. Actually, if you want to just pull up her video, okay. the title, she wrote Chuck E. Cheese, not Chuck E. Cheese's. All right. But I just thought well, it was good that the manager who works there knows it is Chuck E. Cheese. 
And that's at the end of the video. I thought I had the timestamp. This is driving me crazy. It might be 14 or so. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. Are you are you searching it? I'm not looking. I'm looking on my YouTube. Like you said, um, we're gonna have to like Hello, zip it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you um? We're gonna have to zip it up. So the, what's next? Um, okay, we're gonna skip the Africa. next one because the next one is more you searching. So if you want to go to that 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 folder that I I put in there that says random residue and logos, we can knock out a lot at once. Cool. All right. Grant. Trying to find it. Remember, search three slash three show. Yeah, guys, I'm really going to have to cut it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll have to continue to work later, I guess. Um, we only got done half the list again. <laughs> this always happens. So what about tomorrow? I have nothing planned. I mean, I get out of work, I come home, I get out at five. That's I don't fine. Have a problem. We'll, do, we'll do part two tomorrow to remember where we left off, okay? I can piece the videos together. Okay, that sounds good. Perfect. I've got to run. Hey, guys. All right. Have a good night. All right. Love you all. Love you all. You guys too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.